Hello. So in the last session we have seen that how to calculate HCF of two numbers using Euclid's division algorithm. Now in this session we are going to see for three numbers how we can calculate the HCF of given three numbers using the same method. So we take one example here. For example, you want to calculate the HCF of 18, 24, and 70. So what you have to do, you have to select any two numbers out of these three and calculate the HCF of that two numbers using Euclid's division algorithm. So first we'll select suppose 18 and 24. So out of this 24 is greater, so we'll write as dividend is equals to divisor will be 18 here. So 18 into 1, 18. So the remainder will be 6. So we carry out this process till we get remainder as 0. Now from divisor and remainder, so divisor is greater, so we will take 18 is equal to, this will be now divisor, uh, that remainder will act as a divisor, so 6 into 3, that is 18, so the remainder will be here 0. So when we get the remainder 0, at that step the divisor will be nothing but the HCF of that two number. So here divisor here is 6, so therefore HCF of 18 and 24 is 6. Now what you have to do, you have to take this HCF value that is 6 and the remaining value that is 75. So we will calculate the HCF of 75 and 6. So that is 75 and 6. So the greater number here is 75. So 75 is equal to 6 into 12 that is 72 so the remainder will be here 3 now in the next step again 6 is greater so we'll take this as dividend divisor will be here 3 so 3 into 2 that is 6 so remainder here is 0 so remainder is 0 so we'll look out for divisor so here divisor is 3 so therefore HCF of 6 and 75 is 3 and also the HCF of all these three numbers, therefore HCF of 18, 24 and 75 is also nothing but 3 only. So this is how we can calculate the HCF of three numbers. What you have to do? You have to calculate the HCF of any two numbers and the HCF that you are getting of that two numbers, take that number and the remaining number and calculate the HCF of that two numbers. In the last that you are getting the HCF will be nothing but HCF of all the three numbers. So this is how we can calculate by Euclid's division algorithm. Hope you understood. So we'll meet in the next, uh, next session. Till then, practice all the sums that we have discussed. Thank you.